Oh, you whore. Yes, I said that out loud. Oh, my arm. Let's not... I don't know anything about Elden Ring like that, so... No, no, you don't even get to be son of an Antivan whore. Absolutely not. Oh, God. It is done. The world owes you a debt, both for defeating Elganon and for bringing down the Veil. I... I'm sorry for this final betrayal, but I will do what I can to minimize the damage. When you see the old world restored- I don't give a fuck. No. Please let that be the fake dagger. Please, Rook. I do not wish oh, to- Oh, I do. You. I don't want to fight you either. Oh, I do. But I don't want to see the world go through even more pain on top of what Elganon has done. Do you? This world is broken, Rook. Because of my mistakes. This is why you had to use me to escape the prison. It's made from regrets, and you're trapped in yours. You cannot understand the- Destroying everything won't erase your mistakes. You have a chance right now to save the world. Bind yourself to the veil and stop it from falling. What? I don't get the pleasure of shoving him into the veil myself. I cannot. To stop now would dishonor those I have wronged to come this far. Even if those you've wronged asked you to stop. Oh shit. Inquisitor. You were my friend. We saved the world together once. Can't we save it one more time? Inquisitor, I am sorry. But I cannot. Then somebody let me Long shoot this motherfucker. Met, I failed my oldest friend. She died for that failure. If I leave the veil in place, I am destroying the world she wanted. And I will have... She... Will have died for nothing. And whose fault is that, Dreadwolf? Morrigan. One appellation among many, I wear. I have been advisor to Orle, witch of the wilds, daughter of Flemeth, and once, long ago, an old friend. Mithal lives on in her, and in this.
Mithor. I pulled you from the Fade you loved and sent you into war. I used your wisdom as a weapon. And it broke you. The things that I have done... ...are not for you alone to bear, my friend. The many wrongs we did... ...we did together. I release you... ...from my service. You are free to find a better way. <laughs> My life force now sustains the veil. With every breath I take, I will protect the innocent from my past failures. The Titan's dreams are mad from their imprisonment. I cannot kill the Blight, but I can help to soothe its anger. I will go and seek atonement. Thanks to you, I now can see the way. Oh, really? You'll have to tell me which one you got or send me the VOD, cause... I know there's a secret ending, but that's all I know. Holy shit. <gasps> Nev. Oh good, that's... Oh, bless. <sighs> so we're gonna be here another hour while the credits roll. I saw someone stream where Solus was walking around in the lighthouse. I have no idea how that happened. Okay, there's goblin and then there's evil. Hmm. Now I'm gonna go take a bath and a nap. No one bother me. I mean... Oh, I guess there's an ending With where... With Elganon and Gilanane dead, and Solus off to fix his mistakes and right an ancient wrong, it looked like one of the biggest stories this world had ever seen was finally drawing to a close. The story of the Veil God a team of heroes who stood strong against evil, no matter the cost. Whatever it takes. But whenever one story ends, another oh, begins. Oh, come on. Like the story of the Grey Wardens, clearing the remains of the Blight so that the flowers can grow again. 
or the story of our Kondorian Parvus fighting to bring Minrathus out from under Venatori rule. Yes. Or the story of a caretaker standing watch for new heroes. For the Antivan Crows, it would be a story of liberation from invaders and usurpers alike, as Treviso threw off its shackles. Among the Veil Jumpers, the fall of the last elven gods meant Arlathan was reborn. At their heart, stories are about change. A man seeing his ward become more than he could ever have imagined. A woman protecting Darktown at all costs against an unknown future. An assassin and a demon. Pursuing justice for the sake of the future. A student of history helping the elves regain what they lost. A dragon hunter forging a new life for themselves. Or the Griffins returning to the Grey Wardens. Or the anguish of finally understanding the Titans and forever altering those who carry the memory. There are stories of love. But those stories aren't over. And we will always be grateful to those whose stories brought us where we are today. And those whose stories will live on with us forever. Oh, you weren't here for Tasha's end mission. watching all the credits. It took these people 10 years to make this game. We're watching all the credits.
Is the whole soundtrack out? Also, don't expect me to be in your stream because I absolutely will not. Oh, system design, they deserve every applause for this. I'm still mad that they were only nominated for um, accessibility. Hey, Brittany. Oh, good. Mary's still in the credits, and so is Cheryl. Oh, Ben worked on it. Yay. Oh good, they put they put people who left. Why is the Mass Effect team in the credits? Well, I know the title song was out. I didn't know if the whole OST was out. Ah, Shivani, someone's name in the uh, that worked on it. What do you mean, engine stuff? Yeah, but this is the second game they've made in Frostbite, so that's why I'm just surprised. Which is interesting because Inquisition came out before Andromeda, so I find that interesting. But also working an engine is not easy. Also, I'm looking for the council's name. I'm glad there's a pause. 
Oh, they do have former staff in there. Oh, mm -hmm. pets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's four rooks. Oh, Brioni is whose voice I must have used. I knew it was Matthew. I like he's credited as various verses, voices instead of. Oh, Kate Fleetwood was Mythal. Interesting. Oh, Alec Newman was in there. Huh. Uh, Abu was in there. He was like, I don't know who I voice. I think Brian said it was like 20 minutes into the credits where you see the... Where you see the council credit. I mean, they've been there doing the work for, I think, a couple of years. I mean, when I was doing consulting, I asked to be included in the credits because I was, I wasn't like writing the game or anything, but I was part of the development. So there are some games I have credit in. Oh, there's only two rooks. Interesting. So we didn't get Fenris, we didn't get Zeverin. I was hoping for at least a mention. Because we go all the way back to DAO with Isabella. And we didn't go to Saharan. And they said there's going to be no DLC. So I find that interesting. Oh no. Can someone take Fenris? Can someone go in and delete all of the... Dragon Age related names now that we finish the game. Wouldn't have made any sense for the Inquisitor not to show up. Oh, I know, but also, at what point is it too far? Back, but they they had Isabella there, and we haven't seen her since Dragon Age Two. Like she doesn't even get a mention in DAI that I remember. But Isabella's around. I don't know. I'm just like y'all went all the way back to the first game, and the fact that Saharan is right there, and we get Dorian wandering around. Well, I know, but I mean in terms of the story. I'm not thinking about multiplayer because not everybody played that. I'm talking strictly during the narrative. Actually, I don't know if anyone is around that is has access to Nightbot. Kim, did you have access to Nightbot? 
Because now that we've finished, I'm going to go in and take the names out. Because after this, I'll be gone for a week, so... There won't be a stream for people to come in and try to spoil stuff. And you literally just have to go on the ban word list and delete anything Dragon Age related. Oh, she did a snooze to me. Thanks, Shari. Hopefully you did not get spoiled on anything. Because the ending is something I think you should not get spoiled on. Okay, good. Because apparently Panda and I got different endings. Apparently Taru and I got the same ending. Violet! No, that's not the same Violet I know. Ah, uh, frostbite. Which chest? I also wonder if I can go back and reload to right before we talk to Solus or not. There has to be a way to get it because I know I got it.
These are a lot of credits. I'm not complaining, it takes a lot of people to make a game.
Gabe! Sorry, I'm very excited because Gabe's name is there. I've been friends with Gabe since he worked at Ubisoft, and I'm so glad he's still there. He's just a person. I should have screenshot the playtesters. I'm like, these are playtesters. Maybe you should learn what that term means. Well, I'm going to see something because I'm curious about loading a game. To see where it puts me.
It is done. The world owes you a debt, both for defeating Elganon and for bringing down the Veil. I am sorry for this final betrayal, but I will do what I can to minimize the damage. When you see the old world restored, please, Rook. I do not wish to fight against you. down on my watch. It is over. You can never stand against me alone. If you will excuse me, the final enchantments require a delicate touch. I wanted to do that for 10 years. I am standing against you, and I am not alone. But you will be. The veil needs to be tied to the life force of an elven god. And now it is. Dread wolf. You sneer at me so you understand. You are mortal. Compared to you, to your infinitesimal existence, I am a god! With Elgernon and Gillanane dead, and the Dread Wolf locked away in his own prison, it looked like one of the biggest stories this world had ever seen was finally drawing to a close. The story of the Veil God, a team of heroes who stood strong against evil, no matter the cost. Whatever it takes.
But whenever one story ends, another begins. Like the story of the Grey Wardens, clearing the remain. I mean... Right, now that we know that that's short, I want to see what tricking him looks like. And then we're going to call it because it's 1030 and I'm tired. Yes. It is done. The world owes you a debt, both for defeating Elganon and for bringing down the Veil. I am sorry for this final betrayal, but I will do what I can to minimize the damage. When you see the old world restored, Please, Rook. I do not wish to fight against you. The veil's not coming down on my watch. It is over. You could never stand against me alone. If you would excuse me, the final enchantments require a delicate touch. A delicate touch? You kill Varric, stab me in the back. You're about to drown the world in demons. How are you any different from Elganon, trying to impose your will on all of us? Elganon would have seized his victory by force. You were not crushed by the power of the Dread Wolf. You were bested fairly, by wits alone. Dagger was a fake. Here's the real one. Now the veil is once again tied to the life force of an elven god. Bested fairly by wits alone. <laughs> I taught you well. Varric taught me well, and you killed him. You think yourself capable of judging me? I have faced things you could not possibly comprehend. You are a mortal, a mortal, and I am.
<laughs> I am a fool who finally met his match. All right, y'all, we did it. With Elgernon and Gillanane dead, and the Dreadwolf finally outsmarted by a mere mortal, it looked like one of the biggest stories this world had ever seen was finally drawing to a close. The story of the Veil God, a team of heroes who stood strong against evil. All right. That's going to be that, because I am fading. No. We've already watched the credits. Um, let's go read Selena. She's only been on a couple hours, and she's also playing Veilguard. And then I'm gone for a week, y'all. I'm not back till next Sunday, or Sunday after next. Alright, that's it y'all. I'm gonna go say hi to Selena and my call it a night. Thanks for going on this journey with me. And uh see you when I'm back from Montreal. Have a wonderful night, y'all. Should probably copy my own raid call. All right, three, two, one. One must sometimes destroy. Hi, Zelda. Welcome oh, in. Yes, Hi, readers. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to pause this really quick. Hi, Dory. Hi, Phoenix Path. Hi, Meg. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Yes, Harvey. We got raided. Oh, my gosh. Then went back and watched the endings I did not get. Oh, okay, okay. It was great. Hi, Zan. How you doing? Also, thank you so much for the follow. How are you? Um, it was great. Oh my gosh. How are you? Did you? So, 
like you reloaded a save and like chose different endings or you watched endings on like YouTube or, or, or something or not not the first ending you wanted to see what the options were. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Ah, so exciting! Well thank you so much for the raid. Um there's an endpoint save right before you can make choices. Oh gotcha, 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 gotcha. Very nice, very nice. Um I just finished I just killed the flame scorcher. Um and